Our topic for the day is all about the Cartesian plane. Um, do you have any idea what is Cartesian plane? Not yet. Uh, no. As we go through our discussion, I will discuss to you what is Cartesian plane. Um, do you have, do you ever have like two things that you wanted to combine to make one amazing thing? Yes. Wow. Relationship. For example, you have peanut and chocolate chip. If you combine them, you can make a peanut butter cookies with chocolate chips on top. Wow. Oh. Tasty. Tasty. Whoa. Because there was a guy who really liked math Algebra. back in the 1600s in France. He liked both algebra and geometry. So he started looking for ways on how to combine them so that it could be used for better application. He came up with this neat way of taking numbers in the realm of algebra. Wow. And plotting them together using the Cartesian coordinate plane, also became known as the Cartesian plane, named after René Descartes. So, the Cartesian plane consists of two directed lines that perpendicularly intersect their respective zero points. So, this is an example of a Cartesian plane. As you can see, it is two lines that intersect and are parallel. Now, you might ask what are parallel lines. These are lines that form T-shape and have right angles. Now, right angles are angles that measure 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Very good, Philip. As you can see, the Cartesian plane is divided into quadrants. First, second, third, and fourth. And the middle part is the point of origin, which is zero. Zero, zero. So, now back to the two lines. The horizontal line is called the x-axis. And the vertical line is called the y-axis. Lumen loves math. So, this is an example of a Cartesian play. Fun, yeah. Now, I'll teach you how to plot the coordinates. For example, you are given 5 and 2. As you can see, always remember that numbers on the right are lying on the y axis and the numbers lying on the left is the x axis. For example, you are given 5 and 2. First, you will start from the x axis which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And on the y axis is 0, 1, and 2. Connect the line and that's how you plot the coordinate. This is another example of how you plot the coordinate. You are given 4 and 3, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then from the y-axis, 0, 1, 2, and 3, connect the lines and plot your coordinate. Whoa. Everything clear so far? Yes, teacher! So get your notebook and write down your assignment. Haba? Create a small graph of the data points from the Grand Challenge data set. Grab the first 10 points, create the appropriate scale, and approximate the location of each point. Yes, ma'am. Do you see a trend forming? Draw a line approximating this trend. What did this graph tell you that you did not already know from looking at the data? Why is graphing a set of data important? Where do you think this data could came from? So, I hope you learned for today. We will see you. I will see you tomorrow. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. -bye.